In this week's Kearns Kindness, a local church is working with the Bakersfield Police Department to support the homeless and you can help. I was personally doing blessing bags and I had a certain goal that I wanted to do each month. Colleen Scanlon keeps bags filled with necessities in her car. She and her daughter hand them out to the homeless. And um, I just thought, okay, we've, we've got to be able to do this bigger and better. Not necessarily for any glory, but just to try to reach as many people as we can. Colleen is the administrative assistant at St. Elizabeth and Seton Church. She decided to get the community involved, so she went to her boss and turned her blessing bags into a ministry. We are working with uh, the Bakersfield Police Department and the Mission at Kern County. Right now, 100 blessing bags are being divided between BPD and the Mission each month. But Colleen says the goal is to raise that number to 200. The bags are filled with items like hygiene products, hand warmers, and granola bars. The homeless population really, really uh, enjoy the bags or a true blessing to them whenever we give them to them. This is a photo of Sergeant Varen Coleman giving out blessing bags. He says they can make all the difference when working with the homeless. Once you approach them and you give them that type of stuff, it completely changes our interaction with them, which is uh, which is awesome and exactly what uh, we want with our community. Sergeant Coleman says interactions can feel tense, but the blessing bags build positive relationships and provide tangible resources. The first time when we didn't have the bags were we're met with like, oh, you know, they're mad, they're cursing at us. And then we started getting the bags and, and blessing these folks with it. Now they see us, all right, all right, Sergeant Coleman, we're leaving, we're leaving. And they're picking their trash up and they're, they're getting up without absolutely any problems. And that's the, that's the, uh, the impact of what something like this does. And it's, it's very positive and we really appreciate it again. The items in the blessing bags are donated to the church by community members. Colleen says people have also written letters for the bags, reminding the homeless they're seen and supported. And it just warms my heart because there's such a need for it in the community. And so many people were just willing to jump up and help. If you'd like to donate, you can drop items or letters off at St. Elizabeth and Seton Church. And if you know someone who should be featured in Kern's Kindness, email us your idea at kernskindness at kero.com.